Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Tuesday, which means it is time for another Nas Watches Beastars. The yiffening is upon us. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, so straight up. There's like a big thing on Tumblr with fucking like weebs like in denial. He's like, since Beastars is anime, it's not yif, it's hentai. I'm safe. I'm like, first off, why the fuck are you tweeting about that? Second off, no. Nah, man. Putting your order for the first suit now. It's too late. You got the fucking past over, Jen, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, uh, you gotta, you gotta disinfect yourself first. Oh, uh, but yeah. So in our last episode, we had kind of like a, like a little slice of lifey setup kind of thing. You know, we get the idea that there is a lot of racism going on, and that the oppressed underclass or predators will soon rise up against the oppressive herbivore bourgeoisie. <laughs> Comrade, nah, fuck. And, uh... And yeah, like, there's some sort of thing going on where, like, it, like predators just can't really help themselves sometimes. And when we left off, our good of friend Lugosi stopped, like, just shy of biting the fucking head off that little rabbit girl. So, let's go ahead and see how long she survives, shall we? And whether we get to see Shakira as a gazelle with a giant fucking ace. In three, two, one, and go. Yo, I still can't. I'm gonna tell it in a minute. He's in a cage. Is this is is this in his mind palace? Like is is he locked inside his mind because of his instincts? Oh no, just nightmare dog shows up with his fucking eyes covered. How do dogs exist? Jesus Christ, just dragging that man. Jesus. If humans don't exist, how do dogs exist? That, that's a question I fucking have. Like, you think everyone would be a wolf or some shit? How do dog breeds exist? Are they just inbred? If Alabama happens? Okay, I guess... I guess maybe it's because Lugosi is a wolf, he's got stronger instincts. Like a dog's not gonna like bite someone's head off. I don't like that! This is worse! This is worse! I will never talk- I will never criticize this thing CG ever again. I don't like this. I will criticize it CG again. But I- no. This is some fucking Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer shit. I hate it, thank you. Yeah, like I was saying, though, like, y'all know fucking, like, Shakira, like, when she was being put in Zootopia, she asked to be a gazelle, and she asked to have a, and I quote, big poppin' booty. Fucking Shakira's a furry, and she fucking just wanted her fursona in that movie. She brought in her fucking ref sheet and everything. Yeah, I hate this. This is- this is worse. They're gonna fuck at the end, cause, you know, like, following the Zootopia craze. But yeah, no, this is nightmares. This is actually nightmares. I'm gonna see this when I go to sleep. And I'm gonna wake up in a cold fucking sweat. Oh no, Lugosi's trying to hold back his murderous instincts. It's secretly the story of a fucking serial killer, a serial killer in training. Oh, I don't have a hair tie, shit. And it smells delicious. God, you can just hear the voice act. The voice actor's doing real good work. Holy shit. <laughs> Who's, who? Who? 
Oh my god, it's the fucking anti-spiral! Holy shit! This takes place in the Gurren Lagann universe, there you go. The anti-spirals keep this, keep this spiral race oppressed by encouraging one group to eat the other. That's the new headcanon. Come on, Lugosi, you know you want to start serial killing, come on. Come on, Chief. What's one murder between friends? Like, that's just the anti-spiral. That's just the fucking anti-spiral, goddamn. Eat the rabbit. Now I I know it's an I know it's a an, an anthropomorphization of his of his instincts. I know. It's just funny that it looks like the fucking anti spiral. You can just crush that rabbit's head in like one bite too. She's so small. So like, do do all, do all predators, do all predators have this, or is this just Legosi, or is it all non-domesticated, non-domesticated animals? Oh shit! She fucking tore her arm out. Jesus. What happened? Did another did another murder happen? So you tripped and he broke his ankle? Is that what happened? Yeah, should yeah, should have just let him fall. You've already, you've already replaced him once. Why do you smell like blood, Lugosi? You smell delicious. Is she gonna report him though? That's the question. Is she gonna is she gonna make something out of this? <laughs> oh my god, so they You can't have them eat soy? You can't feed a carniv- an unobligate carnivore so soy? The fuck? That's not- Like, eggs- eggs maybe. Eggs will be a thing for protein, but- Oh my god, this is Zootopia! The fucking chipmunks are actual size! Oh my god, you almost- They should have their own school, Jesus Christ! Why don't you have your own buildings?! This sounds like a fucking health hazard, how has no one been crushed to death?! Maybe you should keep your tail up, dipshit. Don't drag it on the floor. See... You can't really... 
Do you have obligate carnivores? Do you have obligate carnivores eating soy? That's gonna happen. They're gonna get grumpy, they're gonna get malnutri- Like, malnutrition, and they're gonna fucking do that shit. Damn, well, go see standing out for yourself. Shit. Lagosi could fucking crush you, tiny man! Wolves hunt foxes! Oh boy, time for racism! Racism returns! Our delicious star actor. I mean, it is bad manners, even in the wild. Like, if you bear your fangs at an animal that's bigger than you, you best be ready to fucking throw down. Like, cannons have, like, a really interestingly designed... Oh, man. What's a B-star? Oh, so student council president. All right, then. And they become immune to racism? What, they get the N-word pass? My god! That's, that's, that's what you need to, yeah. That's, that's what you, that's what you gotta aim for. If you're an animal, if you need to get the N-word pass, that's how you do it. And let me guess, the beast stars are usually herbivores because they get to actually eat shit that makes them, you know, well-fed. Like, fucking Christ. No, it doesn't. You could have just fucking broke his neck. You could just smacked his ass. Yeah, come on, Lewis. Get him to give in to his worst instincts. Do it, coward. Carnivore revolution when? Enslave those weak-ass fucking herbivores. Eat them. Like... Seriously, I'm gonna Google this, like, for, for later, but, like... Oh man, she's a tiny bunny. Okay, so what did she get up to? The fuck? What the fuck? Is 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 this is this our is this the play? Is it, is this the play they're doing? Okay, it is. I, I was I was kind of confused there, but this that story's kind of silly. I don't know, Chief. I don't think I don't think a school performance is gonna get a, a costume that uh, complex, though. I, this is, oh my god, this play is anti-carnivore propaganda. It's, it's intended to show that herbivores are superior to carnivores, and that one herbivore can defeat an entire pack of carnivores. That's literally what it is. It's fucking, it's, it's fucking 
propaganda to suppress the underclass. Holy fucking shit, this is a story about the civil rights movement. Holy fuck. Or, or sorry, integration, sorry, might be. Like, they're no longer, they're no longer allowed to fucking, like, straight up oppress the carnivores, so instead they socially do it and make them feel worthless. Make sure they can't eat the right food to give them the strength they need to actually rise up and keep them subservient. Holy fucking shit. This is, this is... This is some shit. This is some actual fucking, like, social conditioning shit. Holy dicks. I'm wondering if that's actually what they're going for. Or if this is just, like, me reading super far into it. I don't know. Possible. Okay, so I I found what I I found what I was looking for. I think so I'll read that once we're done here. But Jesus. God, his fucking neck is so slender. You could break that by breathing on it. You know, maybe he'd improve his talking skills if he wasn't, you know, always looked at as if he was going to snap and kill everyone. And also very, very malnu- Fucking malnourished. And so do the people inside. They smell delicious. Now the Oh, she doesn't recognize him. I gotta go take a monster shit. All this soy is fucking up my digestive system. Really? Really? What, what, does he wanna, does he wanna fuck the rabbit too? Like, what the fuck? Whatever you do, don't eat the rabbit. Oh no, he's, oh no, he doesn't like her because of, because of all the rumors, right, I forgot. Yeah, all the rumors about her being a man stealer, I forgot about them for a moment. I mean, she doesn't recognize you, Chief, so it seems like you're good. I'm in the murder club. For delicious children. Oh no. She fucking buckled up his tail. What's oh god? Looks so goofy. And no one's wanted to join up because the man stealer is running it. Oh boy. Maybe if you quit, more people would join. 
I'm being an ass, I know. So why was she out and about? Like that's why. Why why was she out and about the other night? Like that's 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 my question. Idiot. Oh my god, she's not going to make a thing out of it. Wait, did she... Did she blank it out of her memory? She fucking blanked it out of her memory. What the fu- Like, either she's lying or she's telling the truth and she dead ass just was so scared that she forgot. Holy shit. That- that- that's pretty good. It's pretty bueno right there. Assuming some goddamn herbivore doesn't eat them. It's like Zootopia if Nick Wilde was a horrible serial killer. Oh no. Ask her on a date. Hey girl, you wanna go get some wolf dick? What the fuck? Nani the fuck? What the fuck? How did we even get here? Like, a, a bunny girl is slut. Alright, so she was actually a slut the whole time then, I guess. She's not down with it, but she do it, I guess. He didn't even ask. How abused is she that the second someone seems like they want to ask her something and they don't know what it is, she just assumes like, all right, guess I'm whipping my titties out. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. So there's our story then. Lagosi's trying to suppress his fucking instincts as a wolf and she's abused to shit. Jesus. I didn't think we'd be getting the sexual abuse with the fucking cool furry show. God damn. For a second now, I was afraid there was going to be fucking rabbit titties on the screen, you know? For a second there, I was like, ooh. But here's hoping Lugosi has, like, enough, like, wherewithal to be like, Oh, hold the fuck up, girl, hold the fuck up! God, like, dinner and a movie first, pal, Jesus. Oh, man. This is gonna wind up with them dating and fucking, isn't it? Or fucking then dating. One of the two. Welcome welcome to the cross-species furry romance anime. Haha, -ha, you fools. Oh, God. All right, okay. So, let's find the answer, first and foremost. Um... Is it possible to raise carnivorous animals as vegetarian? Uh, carnivorous... No, sorry. Domestic cats are scientifically regarded as obligate carnivores, which means their meat has to make up a greater part of their diet. They lack the ability to create the necessary amino and fatty acids from plant material. Therefore, they rely on maintaining these nutrients preformed in muscle tissue from herbivores that can produce them. 
Many people choose to feed a vegetarian or vegan diet to their cat, which is controversial due to the high likelihood of causing severe medical problems, such as taurine and their arachid arachidonic acid deficiencies. Dogs, however, can healthily live on a non-meat diet as long as the nutrient composition is correct. On a side note, I find pandas fascinating in that they evolved a carnivorous ancestor adapted to totally herbivorous diet. Well, not, cause pan well, pandas aren't all the good carnivores, though. Pandas are capable of obtaining nutrients from bamboo. It just requires a metric fuck ton of bamboo. So, okay. So it depends on the species, then. So, dogs, dogs can, but it needs to be very, very specific. Um, I couldn't find one that was specifically soy. So... Oh, here, can dogs eat soy? Immediately underneath it. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay, so... They can... But it's not very good for them. Yeah. Yeah, so they, they can eat it, but it's, it's nutritious when consumed sparingly, but it lacks a lot, it, it lacks a lot of, like, nutri- So basically, in order for these animals to be, like, well-nourished, they need a lot more fucking soy than that. Like, like that, that little fucking patty they have, they would need to eat, like, ten times that amount. And even then, like, that's still not, like- a really nutritious diet. So yeah. Yeah. So this is a so I I mean I don't know if if the creator of this is is uh is is up on that. But yeah, no, that is like th this school is killing its its carnivorous students. They are it's it's no wonder that most of the carnivores in this show seem to be very very angry, very and honestly, the fact that some of them are succumbing to their base instincts and fucking biting people. Yeah. 110 fucking percent understand that. They're malnourished. They're malnourished, which means that they're probably going to be very tired. Um, they're not going to be thinking straight. If, if, honestly, if there was, like, a, a trend of carnivores having lower grades than herbivores, I would be very much not surprised by that. Um... Jesus. And, uh, and then you have the, these plays where it's like all the bad guys seem to be carnivores, and a single herbivore beats all of them. This is... This school is practicing social engineering to ensure that carnivores feel lesser. And they're also encouraging, or no, maybe not encouraging, maybe it's just naturally happening. But the herbivores are enforcing basically a self enforce segregation where they're trying to avoid contact with carnivores like they they treat them like shit they seems like they like from that lunchroom it looks like a lot of them were sitting in separate yeah yeah they, it seems like they're sitting on separate sides of the lunchroom as well so they are they are actively segregating themselves as well hang on let me see if i can get like a full yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like in that big wide shot, most all of the carnivores are sitting together, and all of the herbivores are sitting separate. Like, there's a couple sprinkled here and there, but for the most part, yeah, it seems like, yeah, like, they're, like it's all herbivores on one table, and then all carnivores on another table. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, th this, that's, so is that going to be the thing of this show? Is If this show, is it going to be, like... Like, hey, it, it's- this world is really fucked up. Like... Here's the thing, though, it's like, why don't they have- Okay, so, like, in real life, if someone proposed this, I'd be like, no, fuck you. I'm gonna eat meat, suck a dick. But in this world, where the meat... is also a citizen? Like, why don't they just farm bugs? You know? Like... In in the modern day, we have the ability to make milk from cockroaches and basically turn insect matter into basically protein and nutrition, like, like, parody, like, with regular meat, you know? Like, it probably doesn't taste as good, but nutritionally, and I guess, like, appearance-wise, it looks the same. So... And that's what they did in Zootopia as well. Like, in Zootopia, 
all of the all of the animals eat insect matter. Like, uh, sorry, uh, all of the carnivores eat insect matter that's rendered into a meat substitute. Like, why here are they eating something? Like, I mean, like, I, I, honestly, if if they thought about this, the the idea would be the correct answer is they're doing it because <laughs> because it's fucking um because they're suppressing the carnivore population. Uh, but like. Like, like, it's like, well, why, like, if they, if, if the carnivores want to be properly nourished and, and, you know, not dying of malnutrition, why are they not, why is that not the food that the carnivores eat? And also, where the fuck are they getting these eggs? Because it's clear that birds are, are sapient as well, so, like, do, do, like, anthro chickens just, like, sacrifice their young every, every, every time, like, a anthro chicken has her fucking period, do they just offer up the eggs. It's like, hey, yeah, no, these eggs aren't getting fertilized, just, there you go. Put, put them, take them to the fucking lunchroom. I don't give a shit. Like, is, is, like, is that what they're doing? Because that's kind of fucked up. That's kind of fucked up. Or, or is it like chickens are not sapient? Chickens are like the exception. You know, like your chickens like the, uh, the, the chimpanzee to these people kind of thing. I don't know, like, there's a lot of questions raised by this. I don't know, man. Um, I, I like this show. I like this show a lot. Like, it's like I like seeing the the world, and I'm and maybe I'm reading too into it, maybe too far into it. Maybe that's the thing. But like whenever I see a world like this, where it's like there's no humans, but things have evolved along a sort of human human style bent, I always like seeing the differences and how it's been adapted. Because a lot of a lot of things don't do the do adaptations at all. They don't. It's just like no. It's just it's just it's just human. It's just human but furry. There you go. But then you get shit like Zootopia where they even go as far as to fucking have the earbuds designed for fucking Judy's big fucking ears, you know? Like, like I like shit like that. Like, whenever I see, like, a, like a, a world that's got no humans in it, I like seeing how they've adapted things. And it really bugs me when they don't. And also, just, like, the whole thing with Lugosi, like, we, like, we focus mostly, like, entirely on Lugosi for this episode, almost. And it's, like, seeing the manifestation of his instincts... And, like, they're trying to, like, get him to give in to his base desires. Like, I'm wondering how many other predators suffer with that. Or is it just animals like Lugosi who are very, very close to their wild forms? Like, do does that guy who looks like a fucking, uh, a, 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 just a regular dog have that? You know, the one with the fur covering his eyes? Like, does he have that? Or is it, like, or is he, or is that bred out of him kind of thing? Or the Labrador? Also, how do, like, domesticated dog species exist? Like, did humans used to exist and these guys evolved from what was left over? Or is there a history of inbreeding with those people? You know, like, do those people have family trees that at some point become a fucking bush if you go f back far enough? You know, like, that's, you know, like, that's the kind of shit that I'm really interested in. And, and, and even then, like, the, this show as a whole, like, I'm, I'm, I really do like the, this di the dynamic between the herbivores and the carnivores. And even, like, the subgroups within them, you know, the fact that like, like um, scavengers like foxes. At least I think foxes are scavengers. I'm, I'm, I think they are. Um, scavenger species like foxes are at odds with. Um, I think that guy was a jackal, like or a hyena or something. I don't know, but like, like species that are more active hunters, you know, like you have. You at, yeah, like, and how, like, their personalities lead into that. Like, the fox is, like, really big on himself, despite the fact that, like, he's going against something that's, like, literally twice his fucking strength. It's, it's cool. Like, I, I, I like seeing, like, the, the way, like, it splinters off. You've got these two seeming monoliths of carnivore and, pre carnivore and herbivore. And then just, you go into it, you've got the scavengers, you've got the birds, you've got the hunters, you've got the pack hunters, you've got the solo hunters. You know, you just got, like... And then, like, with the herbivores, you have, like, like subdivisions that are more cliques as well. Like, you know, like, the rabbits don't like... The rabbits don't like that fucking dwarf bunny girl whose name I don't think we've gotten yet. And then... I don't know. It's neat. And, and, and I like how the, the, how the dislike is not, like, all herbivores hate carnivores. It's like, no, some carnivores are just assholes. Like, those cats that threw the rabbit girl's bed out the fucking window. That's neat. I like that. Um, and even at, like, and, and I think, I already mentioned Lugosi, like, I, I like the personal character things, like, like, Lewis, in the first episode, is like, oh, that guy's a fucking a asshole, he's the bad guy, he can go fuck himself. Um, but then here, it's like, he actually 
put himself at risk for his classmate. And, I mean, his classmate was a herbivore, so, I mean, you know, like, imagine if it was a, if it was a carnivore that was doing it, he probably would not have done it. But he actually, like, got himself injured, and now he's got to power through that injury, despite the fact that his leg is, his leg looks fucking infected. Holy shit. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's neat. It's cool. I like, I like seeing, I like seeing that shit. And, and then we've got the whole thing with the bunny girl. We don't really know what her story is, but it's very clear that she is abused to fuck. Like, she was in a room with Lugosi, and Lugosi was trying to ask her something, and she took it as, oh, you're not leaving, that means you want to be paid in sex. Alright then, let's get this over with, I'll pretend to enjoy it. Like, she's, she's been through some stuff, and I'm really interested in, 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 what, that, uh, in what that is, and what's going on with her. I don't know, man. Like I, I like shows like this. You know, it's it's not it's not very actiony, but like, but like you know, it's it's. I think it's been a while since I've watched something that's the focus has been completely divorced from action. I think, like, like I think, like I mean, because I think about like I mean, Chica was an action show, uh, and it had really bad characters in it. Um, fucking Kaiji's a card anime, so it's like, eh. Fucking, uh, Arafreda is an isekai. Law Karai is an isekai, and while it does, and while it, f- it focuses on politics, it, it, it also has this action, but the focus is more on the politics, not so much, like, the, the social. Like, yeah, it's good. I like it a lot. Like, and, and, oh, oh boy. Oh boy, I, I, I can't wait to see how this develops, and I imagine it's gonna be really fucking good. Since this is on Netflix, I'm honestly afraid they're gonna start busting out titties. Honestly, like I like every time like I see a Netflix anime, I'm like, mm, they gonna bust out the titties here? Like it, like there, there's no like rating for this. But then again, this is currently only on Netflix Japan, unless you're fucking pirating it. So hey, yeah, piracy link down below. Oh boy, fuck you, Netflix, with your shit ass Western release shit. This I can only get this shit on like a week delay because of it. Like holy shit, like like unless I was to completely remove the fucking. Uh, the fucking little like subtitle bit up there and just did a timer because i have a vpn so i can i can just go to netflix japan anyway ha 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 but then i wouldn't have english subtitles so oh boy my my japanese is not that good my japanese ain't that good mm. but yeah let me know what uh what you, wait let me know what you guys think of this show down there in the comments like it, i'm gonna be on like a week delay Oh boy, but but yeah, let me know what you thought. If you if you've seen it, like if you saw it before, and I think the next episode is already out by the time this goes up. I don't know what the what the thing is. But yeah, let me know whether you like this show, you dislike it, or you want to bring up something about it that I've missed, or if you think I'm looking too deep into it and I've completely fucking absolutely missed the actual uh, theme. Then hey, let me know down there in the comments. Oh mm, boy. Anyway, so yeah, so uh, remember to like, comment, fair, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends, and hit that share button down below. Hit the share on the Twitter and the Facebooks and, I don't know, fucking, fucking Friendster, I don't know. And, uh, and yeah. Uh, if you want, you can always support me on Patreon, which is linked down there in the description, along with a link to my, um, open Discord channel, the open Discord server that anyone can join. And on my end card, which also has links to some of my other videos, if you want to see those, because those are some cool fucking videos, I, I, I would say. Oh boy. Um, if you do become a patron, get a special patrons-only Discord channel on my Discord server where you can recommend things to be Let's Played, live-streamed, Let's Watched, whatever I do. Oh, boy. And also, we have our patrons-only movie night that we do every month, usually on the end of the second full week of any given month. So, usually on Saturday. We probably start around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time going forward, I think. And we basically we hang out in our sync tube and in our Discord voice chat. We watch some anime, play some video games, we watch a movie, just kind of hang out, have a good old, grand old time. It's good. It's good. And I, and I like watching anime with you guys. You guys, you guys sometimes like bring up some, some, some valid points I wouldn't have noticed, and that's, and that's good. Anyway, so yeah. As always, everybody, I am Nozovix, and I'll see you in the next video, but most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today, and I will see you a round of